If you look at the Democratic ca candidates who have been successful, they either themselves or their running mate have had a strong connection to rural, small town America. Harry Truman from Independence, Jimmy Carter, uh, Bill Clinton, both from small towns, and, and President Obama, Barack Obama, basically had the Kansas connection with his grandparents. I think Iowans are, are sort of looking along that line. So, you know, Elizabeth Warren talks a lot about her Oklahoma roots. Yep. A pretty good idea. All of this plays um, yeah, yeah. in the calculus. The Democratic Party generally has failed miserably to speak to rural voters. And I think there's an opening here, especially in this particular race, to make inroads. Are we going to win these rural places? Maybe not, but we don't have to lose them 80, 20, 90, 10 as we have in the past. What about Biden? Can he have a comeback moment here? Like, how is he doing here? What does he need to do? I don't think he needs a comeback moment because I don't think he's gone. He, he's like a heavyweight fighter who's taken some punches, but you know what? He is still standing. We really don't know whether anybody else can take a punch because when you're the front runner, you take all the punches. He is defined, and unlike any of the other candidates, President Trump and his team will have a very difficult time creating a caricature of Joe Biden that's different than what we know of him because we've known him forever and ever. The, the vice president has had to transition, and I don't think people realize this. You know, you, you've been vice president for eight years, and then all of a sudden, yep. instead of one of two or one of one, you're now one of 25. And that's a whole different mindset. And has he had a hard time weathering that? Well, I don't know if he's had a hard time. I think it's a transition. And I think the people that work with him and for him need to also make that transition and understand this is not a coronation. This is a campaign. The question is, what, what do you want to do with the job? A person who's sitting at that corner table with the Waveland here, how are those people going to be better off than they are today with a Biden campaign or a Warren campaign or a Sanders campaign? That's the question that I think our candidates have to answer.